Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Chelsea up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Luke Shaw starts with Aaron Wan-Bissaka in the fullback positions. Casemiro plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And handed a solo role in attack is Marcus Rashford. And now they get the ball rolling. Conor Gallagher. A very good tackle. Well, full marks for getting past him. Well, then there to tidy up. Bruno Fernandes has it. Incisive pass. But how well he did to react in that manner. Caicedo. Conor Gallagher. Another perfect position to read it. It's going to be United's free kick. Sterling has it. On to Juan Bissaka. Christian Eriksen now. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Eriksen. Bruno Fernandes in position and there it is the breakthrough that will do nicely well just look at his strength here he holds off the challenge he keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net it's a wonderful goal Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Malo Gusto. Palmer with it. Moises Caicedo. Good tackle. Promising looking ball. And the assistant referee has raised his flag offside. And wasteful from Chelsea. Bruno Fernandes. 
Teammates available. Can he put it away? And the keeper more than equal to it. They take it short. And the problem not completely solved. Oh, great defending. Sterling. In with a chance. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. And the short option preferred. Might be a chance to break. Christian Eriksen now. Given away by Manchester United. Moises Caicedo. Sterling. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. And Kunku. Fernandes. And Bahan foiling them. And he has options available. But the danger averted for now. Enzo Fernandez. Connor Gallagher. How can he take them on and beat them? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Now the cut back. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And a short corner here. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And over it comes. Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Snuffed out the danger immediately. Palmer with it. Well, he's certainly not alone. And he's made headway. And the keeper to the rescue. Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. It really is a top-class save. Played over. Well, he took care of it defensively. Well, Chelsea's build-up play has been excellent. Just look at those stats. But their finishing just hasn't matched. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. And a goal to re establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Nkunku. Oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? A oh, fine reading of the situation. Counter attacking chance. Nkunku, defenders need to cover. Uncomfortable in dealing with the ball played in. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now.
fetch a pass. Can he make it count? Well, opportunity to extend their advantage squandered. Well, what a chance that is. He should have scored there. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 39, Scott McTominay. Sterling. Feeding it through. Oh, but he's done brilliantly to cut it out. Bruno Fernandes has it. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, passing moves like this will build confidence. Real chance. Determined defending. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Rashford. And Fernandez's finish is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. Just 15 minutes remaining. Kill well. And super tackle, and they've won possession. Bruno Fernandes has it. Back to Ericsson. Rashford. Oh, big chance. And you cannot argue with a hat-trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Rashford. And Fernandes does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish that is. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Caicedo. This is Thiago Silva. Well, a stylish moment. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Now, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Wasteful from United. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Sterling... Just not testing the keeper at all with that cross. And there it is, the full-time whistle. A victory for Manchester United. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.